Hello there ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? It's Alexander Hilly123 here and it's time for the second part of my Montreal Canadiens NHL 94 Stanley Cup run. We won the previous game, the first game of the series in the second round, as you can see there, against the New Jersey Devils, 1-0. Uh, this is to go through to the quarterfinals where we will play Ottawa Buffalo. We've got a second game at home in Montreal before we play two games in New Jersey. So. Let's see if we can go 2-0 up in the series. Not much of an introduction by now. If you watch the first video, you'll know the score, you'll know the rules, you'll know what's going on. And you'll also know that we won the first game four goals to one. And that would have been one hell of a start. A little bit under the weather today, me, Alexander Hilly, the Montreal manager. And I believe you may have got a cup of coffee, some lockets, and I've got my dressing gown on. Luxurious black dressing gown, very comfortable, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you. But yeah, a little bit under the weather. But the show must go on. Hopefully my players are under the weather today. New Jersey settling into the game as Montreal Springer counter attack down the right. Ooh, smashes at the goal. I don't know, is that Kirk Muller number 11? Can't remember. Struggling to remember any of my players by name after seeing the number. Can't memorise any of them. Ooh, that was a good save. Put bounces up, nearly goes out of the actual rink. New Jersey looking to carry a threat now, and it's gone in! Incredible! It's McLean! Let's take another look at that one, ladies and gentlemen. New Jersey, of course, the Devils, they opened the scoring in the previous game, then ended up getting beaten 4-1, but here McLean has the puck. Number 27 wipes him out, but the puck, if you watch, it's already... McLean's already lost control of the puck there, then he's wiped out. The goaltender's gone down, that's tricked him. And somehow, <laughs> the puck has slowly gone into the net. Well, if you watch the previous video, the first game of the series, I think it was a pretty bizarre goal that New Jersey Open was there. And I said later on in the commentary, as we were dominating the game, that they were lucky to even get that goal. And, well, they're lucky yet again. That'll be icing. Not one penalty called in the game yet. Oh, there's a big body check. There's not been too many of them from the Canadians so far. At least cheer the fans up. Oh, there's another one. Goaltender goes walk is. Ooh, dangerous. Pass out of the defence. Oh, that's an offside given. Yeah, Montreal. Penalty been called against New Jersey. Yep, there has. Two minutes, 44 seconds remaining in the first period. And Scott Stevens, I think he was uh, a little bit of a bad boy in the first game. He went into the penalty box on at least three separate occasions. And he's going in yet again. He'll have to maintain his discipline if New Jersey had to win this. Ooh, some great shots there. Well saved by the Montreal keeper. Oh, what is he doing in that position, the bloody idiot? Offside. Just over a minute to go. Oh, saved! Well, the New Jersey Devils goaltender, he's having a cracking game here, he really is. And it's starting to become really open this game now. Shots all over the place, the body checks are increasing, the referee's getting involved. This is hockey at its very best. Bloody hell, that went close. Number 15, he comes inside. And he's knocked on his ass. It's the end of the first period, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I think the last couple of minutes of that first period are very exciting after a, quite a dull beginning. Let's see what the second period has in store. Devils up 1-0. Oh, 
Oh yes, that's more like it. It's a good start to the second period. Waits for the one-timer. Oh, what a goal! I hate to cut out the organ. I really do. I love listening to the organ music. I wish it didn't actually stop you know, on this game. When you pause the game, it should just continue. But I have to watch that back, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm also going to reverse angle it. Because watch this. Passes the puck and it's actually a volley. Look at that. The puck hasn't bounced onto the floor. It's a volley. And he's lucky, you know. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at the Montreal Canadiens player there right in front of the goaltender. Thankfully, he doesn't stop the puck going in. And Montreal score a quite incredible equalising goal from Vincent Dampus. The hoose is loose about the hoose. Moose. Ooh. Let's have it. Good passing from Montreal. They are improving now and getting better. Growing confidence as the game goes on. Same thing happened in the previous game. New Jersey will be aware of that. I'll tell you what, number 27, he's made about five or six massive body checks. He is a bad boy, I'll tell you now. There he is again! And he nearly added a goal to his game as well. He is having an absolutely fantastic performance. Number 27, who is he? Matt Schneider. Oh, number 24, great defensive work there. Stop the New Jersey player getting a hold of the puck. Around the back of the net. Picked up. And Montreal. Good passing from the Devils. Heading to the midpoint of the second period, and that was very close. But what were the pucks come to? Number 11! It's a goal. It's Mula. Mula Light. He's light on his feet. What a great goal. That very nearly went into the goal there for a third. But yeah, that was quite incredible. The New Jersey Devils, they hit a shot from range like that. Hits the boards in the middle of the ice, like there where I am now. Drops to one of my players, he goes on a jinking run. Goal. <laughs> oh, head over heels, fella. You were head over heels. And no, I ain't singing no tears for fears. What a tune that is. Number 28 comes out of the defence. Know what I'm saying. Ooh, and the puck is out of the ice. Three minutes, 47 seconds remaining in the second period, ladies and gentlemen. Got deja vu. I don't know about you, but this is very much the same way that the first game went. Can New Jersey do anything to stop that? With hits like that, they're going to find it difficult. 47. Ooh! Out for period, Libu, Libur, I don't know, roughing Scott Stevens, what did I say? He's an aggressive player and he finds himself in the penalty box quite a lot. But yeah, number 47, Libu, Libur, Libu, the French fellow I'm going to call him. He's very good and we'll miss him for the remainder of the period. But Dion has just made it free. This is a bloody carbon copy at last game, isn't it? At least the next game will be a little bit different for you, ladies and gentlemen. New Jersey will be at home playing, playing in white. And I'll be playing in my away jersey. I think it's in red. I can't remember. I'll find out in the next video anyway, won't I? Oh, it knocks him out. <laughs> Fantastic body check. But New Jersey proving every so often that they still carry an attacking threat in this game. As we head into the last remaining minute of the second period, number 25 has a shot comfortably saved in the end. Number 27, my man of the match so far, Matt Schneider. Rob Schneider. 
Number 25, he's got a chance here. Oof. Ends up going around the net to number 21, but he gets smashed into. 10 seconds, let's kill this remaining time. And dump the puck. That's what it's called, ladies and gentlemen. When you press the A button, you flip the puck up into the air like that. I think it's called dumping the puck. Number 12, number 16. Bounces off the stick. Very irritating when that happens on this game. What a goal that is! Savard! Ladies and gentlemen! Ho oh, oh, ho, look at that, number 12, number 17, and look at that, he's facing backwards, look at the technique on that, look at the technique on that, that is a sensational goal, goaltender, ain't going to be happy letting that in, but nevertheless, that's the goal of the game, it's 4-1, it's game over. Getting from bad to worse now for the New Jersey Devils. Stefan Richer is finding himself in the penalty box for two minutes. Oh, number 11 ends up burging into the goaltender, but. Oh, it's a goal back! It's Burr! Well, that came out of nothing. Montreal had the puck. Lost it deep in the wrong zone. You make a mistake like that, you're going to get punished. And Burt does punish Montreal. It's 4 2. Game on. Montreal still have 1 minute and 20 seconds remaining on the power play, though. And you could see them getting the fifth goal here. Cancelling that New Jersey goal out straight away. And there it is. Another one timer goal. It's Dion with his second of the game, assisted by Haller and Libur. Goals are plenty in this game, ladies and gentlemen. Goals are plenty. Oh, offside. <laughs> Tried to shoot there, but they were kind of hooking me and just stopping me from shooting. It's so annoying. It feels like your players are in treacle when they do that. You just can't quite escape from the, the clutches. It really is annoying. New Jersey have a power play for two minutes now. Still 4-2, that would actually make the game very interesting, but as it is, I'd still say the game just about over. But New Jersey with the potential to make me look very silly by saying that. Well, yet again, New Jersey's de New Jersey Devils goaltender, he's let five goals, and yet I actually think he's made a lot of great saves in this game. That one included. Oh, interference. Looks like it's going to be three on five. Burging into the goaltender like that. Cannot happen, ladies and gentlemen. It's not allowed. Vincent Dampu should know better. Oh, yes, that was class. Number 12. He weaves in and out. It's a shot at goal. I think Montreal have now got one player back onto the ice. It's now five versus four. He's one of those players who just came out of the penalty box. Number 14. Ooh, that nearly looped over the goaltender's head, though. Well, if Montreal can keep this form up and even improve on it, and I think that is important to improve on this form, then they've probably got a chance of winning this Stanley Cup campaign, you'd have to say. No team will really want to play them, not even the best teams in the... In the league this season, oh goodness me, such as Chicago, Pittsburgh, New York, Detroit, Montreal looking for a six goal to add some gloss to the scoreline. Oh, so many times I've been just in front of the goaltender like that and it's just stopped me. Uh, it's a penalty shot, remember what I said in the previous video ladies and gentlemen, nine times out of ten, the CPU's penalties are absolutely terrible. Oh, he proved me wrong! <laughs> Richard! Tell you what, he just eases the goaltender out of the net though and puts it into the goal. But guess what? They've taken the goaltender out of the net. So we'll score as well. Well, they had to go for it. Fair play. The man of the match in the previous game, for me at least, 
Bellows makes it 6 3. Nine goals altogether, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a very entertaining game, but the Montreal Canadiens have made it 2 0, 2 0. In this second round fixture. Looking to see who will go out into the quarterfinals to play either the Ottawa Senators or the Buffalo Sabres. Kurt Muller, the star of the game, and Gilbert Dion and Vincent Dampus, the second and third stars of the game. Yep, nine goals. Cracking game, 28 shots to 12 in our favour. Power play, very close as you can see. Three one-timer goals out of 14 attempts for me. That's pretty good. A lot of body checks in the game. Two minutes attack zone time uh, for me over them. And they're passing better than mine, but they didn't pass the puck half as well, not half as much, but anywhere near as much as me. So, let's check the scoring sorry. Bellows got one, Dion got one. Savard with that incredible goal from distance. Dion got two, yeah. Dampus, Muller. He's our top scorer for two games. It's Bellows with four. But everyone is chipping in. Uh, we're a good actual team, Montreal, playing as a team. And that'll stand us in really good stead as we head to New Jersey, looking to make it 3 nothing in the series. I hope you'll enjoy me there next time for that video, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll see you soon.